This is a God of the Gaps fallacy. You're pointing out that we don't know everything about ancient Egyptian people, which we don't. We don't know everything about any ancient people, but we don't deny that the ancient Romans built the Colosseum. And there aren't significantly more gaps in Egyptology than there is in any other form of ancient history. We're never going to 100% know how the pyramids were built, but we know about as much about how they are built as any other ancient building. People say, oh man, the stones were so heavy. They weren't heavier than manpower could handle with a series of ramps. And we do, in fact, have historical evidence of ramps and sleds being used to move heavy quarry stoned in Egyptian society, including around the pyramid sites. People say that the blocks were cut too perfectly. Again, the blocks of the pyramids are no more perfect than the ancient stone blocks of many other Neolithic works of art. Not to mention the quarried stone that we believe that the pyramids are made out of is actually quite easy to cut and shave with tools that would be available at that time. That has been replicated. There are several ancient structures that line up with celestial objects because that was the common way to navigate back then. The pyramids aren't the only one. And the symmetry of the structure as a whole is also not something outside of the realm of archaeology back then. In fact, the ancient Egyptians had a very strong grasp of mathematics and geometry. And we see perfect geometrical structures from far before ancient Egypt, which started by carving a geometrical pattern into the ground and building it up from there. Or in the case of swampland or otherwise difficult terrain, starting with a solid base that is geometrically perfect. Mapping a perfect geometric shape onto the ground is not something that was outside the realm of ancient Egyptian mathematics. And in fact, it's not something that's outside the realm of the buildings that I showed in my other video, which came literally thousands of years before the pyramids. And the reason why this is implicitly racist is because instead of just accepting the simplest explanation, which is an ancient Egyptian people built a wonder, the goalposts keep getting moved to say that that it is impossible for them to have done so. When all leading Egyptologists say it is very possible for them to have done so, here are the models. When people are so desperate for this to not have been an accomplishment of ancient Egyptian people, that is racism. You can say it's just asking questions, but we have answers to those questions. We have Egyptology. And just because we don't have 100% knowledge does not mean that you get to put aliens in those gaps. Again, that's a God of the Gaps fallacy but with aliens. And we never 100% know anything about ancient history, but we know a lot. And we know that the pyramids were not made by aliens. So for the people who keep saying that they have to be, maybe you need to step back and wonder why you are so desperate for this to not be something the ancient Egyptian people did.